They're in the draft of Edwards and Keslowski. He's all over you here, just you and him. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. If that nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get him. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keslowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up the goes goes outside. Is Edwards going to oh, lose? No. He turns him. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed. And Junior's protege, Keslowski, the winner. And Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. Larry, look at that. The, the, After carburetor, a wild ride. the carburetor's gone it's off. It's completely the gone. Carl did uh, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Not sure where Carl's going. Maybe he thinks if he runs across the start finish line, it'll count. That's what he's. Got, that's what he's doing. He's that's to, what he's doing. He's like a mar You know how he is. He's an athlete, a marathon runner. I want to finish the race. And he did yes, to he a did. standing ovation from the crowd. Shades of Ricky Bobby. Don't you know, Larry, that James Finch is fit you to be tied right now? Finch owns this car. He bought it from Rick Hendrick and leased the engine, a whole Hendrick package. Let's take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. And Newman took a hard hit from Edwards as well. Look at just a car with the room left on the bottom. And what happened here is the 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up a little bit to block him and 09 went right back to the bottom and clipped him. You know, the move looked a lot like the one that Brian Vickers put on Jimmy Johnson when Vickers won. Wow. But what a hit. Wow. That is 1987 all over again. To the outside, we already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. Well, <laughs> I knew it was going to be wild. I didn't know it was going to be this wild. Right here, the three back from him. This is from Carl's onboard looking camera. Inside, zero, nine. But Daryl, I, I want to ask you. And from Dale Jr. Oof. But Daryl, I want to ask you on air because I did not see Brad Keselowski do anything wrong there. No, no, it was a blocking move on Carl. The old nine looked to the outside. Carl went up to block that move. And when Carl came down, the old nine was there.